Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, May 14, 2021. If you'd like to support y'all, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So there has been quite a lot of action in the market today, probably not uh, much with, uh, considering these uh, five currency pairs that we're going to look at, but, uh, but we are falling when we look at the Great British Pound and the US dollar, and we'll probably be falling the next uh, five to seven trading days. Um, if you look at stochastic, for example, it usually takes roundly a week before we get back to the bottom, and usually it goes up, down, up and down, and then hits right at the bottom. And my target here is the 100 moving average. So I'm pretty sure that we'll go back towards the 100 moving average or just at the 50 moving average down here. So we are approaching the middle of the bullish band. We're trading at 1403. And momentum is to the downside at this current stage. The RSI is, um, is, um, has momentum to the downside. The star CCI has momentum to the downside. So has the stochastic. We can also see that we are way outside here at the bullish band, created this shooting star, and usually that means that we'll drop towards the bottom of the bullish band, which would actually be underneath the 100 moving average, but we'll probably not go that far. We'll probably go below the middle of the bullish band and then rally to the upside. If you look at how this has behaved in the past, we can see that we have rallied from the 100 moving average several times. There have been occasions where we have broken below the 100 moving average, but at this moment, we just got way up ahead of ourselves and we need a pullback in this market in order to go higher. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. So we had a massive rally yesterday. We have broken down a little bit today, 0.23% to the downside. Technically, the they are fairly mixed. MACD is bullish, RSI is bearish, CCI is bullish, and Stochastic is bullish at this point. We are above this uh, upper trend line that I've drawn up here. And if that acts as support, then we may bounce off that, uh, that uh, trend line. We are approaching the top of this range, and uh, we are getting fairly overstretched here after this uh, massive move to the upside yesterday. Otherwise, the target will most likely be 110 or the previous highs over here, which is roughly 110, 875. So let's look at the euro US dollar. This continues also to grind towards support. So we did break the line, but we did not manage to stay above the line, to be, to be fairly honest. And uh, as long as that is the case, we'll fall back towards support. And previous support has been all the way down here at the 300 moving average and roughly the 200 moving average, which is in between here. So around, give or take, uh, 1200, that is most likely where we'll find a major uh, support. So we're heading towards that. We're ending right at the middle of the bullish band. So that is fairly close to the bottom of the bullish band. If you look at technical indicators, they are all pointing to uh, lower levels. Momentum is definitely to the downside. So let's look at Aussie dollar and US dollar. You can see that we did break down towards the 250 moving average and then rallied. We also hit the bottom of the bullish band and that's probably the reason why we basically bounced from there. So this is, uh, if you look at technical indicator, for example, the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish, while the RSI is bullish. We're hitting the bottom of the bullish band, and usually you bounce from that from there at that point. But we have to wait and see what basically where we're going. If we break below the 150, which has been massive support in the past and also now, we'll drop all the way down to the 200 moving average. But at this point, it doesn't look like we are going to drop below the 250 moving average. Rallies from here will most likely find major resistance at 100, uh, not 100, but 0 0.78. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese, US dollar, Canadian dollar. I'm mixing these up at the moment. So we did rally, which was also expected, but we gave most of those gains back. So it is just a matter of, of this basically rallying up towards the 20 exponential or the 40 uh, exponential moving average, probably all the way to the top if we give it enough time. Usually it takes quite a long time in order to get all the way to the top. When we have these breakdowns, we usually rally towards the top of the range and then we fall back down. That has been happening for, well, basically for a year. 
we had this new channel first, then we broke out of that channel and created a new channel. And that has been the way that this has been behaving. It can take quite a long time uh, for this to basically break down. It can also take quite a long time for this to rally to the upside. If you look at technical indicators, they are all favoring the upside at this point. MACD is uh, turning around here. The RSI is significantly oversold and also turning around. CCI is turning around and so is the stochastic. And we were basically at the bottom of this of this of this uh, of the bullish band and this was a very bullish candlestick that we created yesterday indicating that we were going to go higher here so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and uh, good luck and thank you very much